got a lot of talent, man, and uh, I'm real excited about where we can go and where we're going to go. Obviously, we got a lot, uh, a lot of things to learn from last week, but I think uh, we started it off this week with uh, a lot of good preparation, and we're ready to go for Stephen F. With a defense that has progressed so much since the year 2005, senior linebacker Buddy Dudzik is up for the challenge of stopping a lumberjack offense that dropped 92 points on Texas College one week ago. They probably run the ball about 10 times a game from what I've seen so far, and uh, obviously we played them last year and it was the same type of offense, but uh, it's basically what they call basketball on turf, just slinging the rock around, and uh, we, we've got to just get to our drops and be real disciplined and obviously stay within the parameters of the defense. This year, the Leathernecks have had the luxury of using multiple high-powered receivers, something junior quarterback Matt Barr is extremely grateful for. Those guys that have, have done so good this year, uh, the receivers group and the tight end group, um, and the backs out of the backfield um, have good hands too. So um, we've got so many threats from, from the passing game um, that you know our options are unlimited, it seems like. Despite the potential for offensive success, the Leathernecks must tighten up defensively. They've given up 69 points and nearly 800 yards of total offense in the first two games. We've faltered is where we haven't done our jobs, you know what I mean? So if, as long as, like I said, as long as everyone does their job, we're going to be good to go. And uh, Coach Casey's got us going in the right directions, and we've got a lot of great uh, leadership on our defense as well. With non-conference play coming to an end this Saturday evening, all of the attention for the Leathernecks will be put on the Missouri Valley Football Conference. With a bye week next week, the Leathernecks will have two weeks to prepare for the eighth-ranked team in the country in southern Illinois. Well, the conference schedule is just brutal. Um, you never really get a week off. So from that standpoint, we got a fortunate uh, timing of the bye week where we play, you know, Stephen F. Austin this week, and then we have a bye week before we play eight games in a row, uh, all conference games. So that's going to be tough. Um, hopefully, we can just you know rest up, you know, during our bye week and, and be ready physically uh, for the grind that the conference uh, conference schedule takes on us. The Missouri Valley is it's a gauntlet, man. You start that conference and you, you got to be ready to go. So uh, you know, obviously, these three games that we played prior to are a good you know test, but. Uh, you know, nothing's, nothing's going to help us more than just us, just helping each other out, uh, communicating, being in the right spots, and just being there for each other. So I, I'm, I'm ready to go, and we're ready to go. Covering the Leathernecks, Kyle Shasberger, WIU TV3.